Hello, today I'm going to show you how to apply text to the perspective grid planes. First open a new document and press the Shift and P keys on your keyboard to activate the perspective grid. Let's move it up a bit. Make sure your character window is open. If you can't see it, go to Window, Type and choose Character. Now press the letter T for the Type tool, single click on the artboard and let's make some changes. Increase the size to 1 inch and change the font style to bold. Now click on the artboard and type any word you want to use. Next make three additional copies and let's change them to different words. In the next step we will apply each word to a different plane. First one to the left plane, second one to the right plane and the remaining words to the horizontal plane. To add text to the perspective grid planes, first we need to activate the perspective selection tool. To do that, press the Shift and V keys on your keyboard or select it from the toolbar panel. Next, make sure the left grid is active and then click on the first word, hold and drag it to the left plane. Let's resize it. Now click on the second word, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the number 3 on your keyboard to switch to the right plane. Then position it at the top and resize it to match the height of the first word. Select the next word, click on it, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the number 2 on your keyboard to switch to the horizontal plane. Let's position it down below and resize it. Finally, let's apply the last text to the horizontal plane as well. If I follow the same steps as I did with the last word, I will end up with my word facing the wrong way. Let's undo it. I would like the last word facing the same direction as the word art. To do that, first switch to the regular selection tool. Now move this word down and let's rotate it by 90 degrees. Next, switch back to the perspective selection tool, click on the word, hold and drag it down. Let's resize it. After you place the text onto the perspective grid, it is still fully editable. Let's say we want to change the fill of the first word to blue. If I select the word and then try to apply a blue color to it, nothing will happen. To do it right, first make sure the perspective selection tool is still active. Now select your text and then click on the edit text icon from the top bar. This will put you into isolation mode and here, if you like, you can change the entire text, use a different color or add a stroke to it. To get out of the isolation mode, click on this arrow twice. Notice that the cursor now has a text symbol next to it. Let's edit the word art. First switch to the perspective selection tool and then select the word. Next you could either click on the edit text icon from the top like we did before or you can right click with your mouse and choose isolate selected group. And now you are in the same isolation mode like before. After you edit your text you could get out of the isolation mode like we did before by clicking twice on this arrow or press down the escape key on your keyboard then right click with your mouse and choose exit isolation mode. Let's change the fill of the next word to red by following the same steps. 
and change the word art to a different font. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.